here we have a binomial, something with two terms, being multiplied with a trinomial, something with three terms. And so we need to do something like foiling to simplify that out, but we can call this a two by three foiling. And for two by three foiling, you wanna arrange it vertically. When you do this, you'll be able to do something that's similar to long multiplication. So if we have five X squared minus BX plus four, multiplied by ax plus three. We're gonna first multiply everything by the three. So four times three is 12. Three times negative bx is negative three bx. And three times five x squared is 15 x squared. Now multiplying everything by ax, we have four times ax, so plus four ax, and negative bx times ax, so negative ab x squared. And now 5x squared times ax, so 5ax to the third. Adding this all straight down, we have 5ax cubed plus 15 minus abx squared plus 4a minus 3bx plus 12. So what we did is we factored out the x cubed, and we have the 5a in front of that. We factored out the x squared, and so we've got 15 minus ab in front of that, and the x leaving us with 4a minus 3b. Now in both of these situations, we put the positive first because it kind of cleans up more nicely that way, and then we just have the 12 at the end. So let's make a little space now. Now in the question, all of this is equal to 20 X cubed minus nine X squared minus two X plus 12. And what we're gonna use now is something we call parallel structuring. Now, if you have something in an ax squared plus bx plus c format, or here, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, anything in that higher level, higher order polynomial format, uh, the numbers that are in front, the a, b, c, d, whatever, those are the address. So if your address has the numbers, I don't know, three, two, four, five in that order, if someone sends a letter to 3246 on your street, it's not going to get to you. So the numbers of the address are the location. Now, if these two things are equal to each other, if this is equal to this, it means they're the same. They have the same address. Therefore, the A, B, C, and D of the address need to match. So that's what parallel structuring is. It's the idea that in, a, in an arrangement like this, 5A needs to equal 20 and 15 minus AB needs to equal negative nine, and so on and so forth. 4A minus 3B will equal negative two, even though we're never gonna need to use that one. And just for a little bit of confirmation, 12 equals 12 right there at the end. So let's go ahead and start multiplying it out or start setting the corresponding parts equal is a better way to say it. 5a equals 20, divide by five, and we get four. 15 minus ab equals negative nine, but we know that a is four. Take away 15 from both sides, divide by negative four, and we have an answer for a and an answer for b. And so what's A times B? That's going to be 4 times 6, and that's 24, and that's your answer.